Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Mukri bin Mahmud from Bachelor of Science and Biology, Yaten Police. My project is under the supervision of Sir Dr. Muhammad Firdaus bin Aziz. Today, I will be presenting my research rice waves, the first rice feeding and overposition preference on selected Malaysian rice. I would like to start with an introduction of my studies. Staphylococcus aureus is, is a rice weevil in the family of Cholinidae and the order of Cholera and one of the world's most dangerous to grain pests. The host range of this species is not particularly rice only, but it also destroys other crops such as wheat, corn, oats, rye, barley, sorghum, buckwheat, dry beans, cashew nut, white seeds, and cereal products. Insect infestation is the most prevalent cause of quantitative damage during the storage period. The problem statement of this study, rice origin sativa is the major step of crop that feeds nearly half of the world's population. These crops are susceptible to staphylococcus aureus, which can cause significant harm, particularly in the store. The infestation can diminish a commodity quality and quantity of rice. The overposition of the staphylococcus aureus vary among the rice cultivar, demonstrating differential suitability among different types of rice as host of this pest. For the significance of this study, due to post-harvest losses caused by rice behavior during the grain storage, the integrated pest management is thought to be the most effective strategy for controlling store grain insect pests. Knowledge of an insect's population structuring, particularly as it is altered by mobility and oviposition, is essential for implementing more successful integrated pest management techniques. This study aims to determine the rice feeding preference by staphylococcus aureus towards natural rice. Second, to determine the oviposition of staphylococcus aureus towards preferred rice. And lastly, to analyze the oviposition distribution of staphylococcus aureus. Next is the methodology, methodology of this study. The material used in the study is adult staphylococcus aureus, non different type of rice such as local white rice, which is the brand of Chad Robertan, imported white rice, floral, brown rice, fiona, fragrant rice, jasmine, sour white, basmati rice, mogul faiza basmati, pony rice, sunflower, glutinous rice, rice orchid faiza, red rice, jasmine natural rice, japonica rice, summer carrot rice, and plastic container which act as arena of the experiment. For the preparation of the experiment, rice weevil were collected and bred to become a steady population. Next, 100 rice clear from 9, type, 9 rice type be selected to be sterilized using freezing temperature. Then, rice grain from each type were separated and divided in each compartment. After that, 9 pairs of stepless orange were placed in container of different compartment. Then, the number of stepless orange on each compartment is measured each week until all rice destroyed. Lastly, any changes were recorded in data table and the various mean ratio will be used to analyze the distribution. Descriptive statistics were utilized to conduct the data analysis for the study. It was just to distinguish between the rice preference of the replicate as well as the constituency of the replicates. The various mean ratio will also be utilized to examine the distribution of the rice. Moving on to, moving on to the result and discussion. It is essential to complete more than one trial in a comparable study in every research size. Nine, nine replicates of this study were complete using the same methodology and treatment. Based on the data from Table 1, it was determined that Staphylococcus aureus had a consistent type of movement in the nine replicates throughout the several weeks for local white rice, imported white rice, bar rice, fragile rice, basmati rice, pony rice, gluten rice, red rice, and Japanese rice. Every pattern ultimately demonstrates the constancy of the staphylococcus aureus movement trend entering and exiting toward the preferred rice. There is no significant difference in the locomotion trend of the staphylococcus aureus, but the data of the can show which rice is more preferred by this insect. As we can see on figure 1, there is an upward trend in the rice with population and the brown rice. The rice with demonstrates demonstrate a migration behavior toward the fiona rice which is the brown rice. In the narrow replicates over the course of several weeks, brown rice had the highest population density of rice with it. 
The brush, the brown rice region is also the ideal location for male and female rice weaving mating process. The second highest choice for rice is just means the rice, which is red rice. The red rice weaving should interest in the red rice for every position after the brown rice. The rest of the rice, such as local white rice, imported white rice, fried rice, basmati rice, pony rice, cotton rice, and Japanese rice, show consistency in the mirror of weaving migration. The very mean ratio have been calculated in, the, in order to identify the type of distribution. Based on table 2, other replicates get higher variance than the mean and get value of 3 which can be categorized into clump distribution. The majority of the rice will be are spread out in a clump or aggregate distribution. The nutritional information is available for all forms of rice, or we know that Rice is under categories of carbohydrate in the food pyramid, but rice also is a good source of protein, phosphorus, vitamin, iron, and calcium. Every type of rice has different amount of nutrient and nutrients, and it might be a factor affecting the flesh or rice preference for rice. The rice that the flesh or rice prefer the most was Fiona brown rice, and overall, this variety of rice has the most nutritional value when compared to other varieties which may help encourage the flesh or the to select it. Based on Albertson et al. 2016, when it comes to nutritional content, brown rice slightly outperform white rice. In addition to more vitamins and minerals, it has higher fiber and antioxidant. Two types of rice has different color, which is brown rice and red rice. The other type of rice has a local white rice, imported white rice, fiber rice, basmati rice, pony rice, cotton rice, and Japanese rice, just white in color. All rice is brown, and brown rice has not been further polished to produce white rice, while red rice gets color from antitionine pigment, which are also known to have various health benefits like being an antioxidant and free radical scavenger. The, the account of this experiment showed that stuffless or resin mainly favor the rice that, had, that was colored. In conclusion, based on several weeks experiment, it can be concluded that stuffless or resin is a habit for ragi movement behavior. Brown rice was the most popular and preferred rice as the highest population density was found at the end of several weeks and followed by red rice, local white rice, imported white rice, Japanese rice, fragrant rice, basmati rice, Pony rice and gluten rice. From the, from the observation of the rice preference and OV position of the flavorizer, it showed that if we prefer rice which contain a high amount of nutrient that have been that have in brown rice. Furthermore, the rice baby is also preferred and is attracted to rice that has the color, for example, red rice and brown rice. The type of oviposition -posit -ov distribution for all replicates in several weeks can be categorized in the clown distribution. This study can be used to de determine population growth while implementing a natural, workable, and environmentally responsible rice baby management strategy. Lastly, for the recommendation for the further studies, it is advised that the observer use the marking recapture technique for the research. The method of this technique is the researcher apply the marker directly to the stuffless or resin. There are a few material and techniques used to mark the sets such as mutilation marking, paint and ink marking, and dye marking. The observer can use this as a guide to distinguish between the original population and migrating population. The observer also can recognize the new emerging population by the overview position of the rice review. Here are the list of reference used in the slide. And that's all for me. Thank you.